Today I've got a quick video taking a look at the MG1917, both the low weight and telescopic version of the Browning, a weapon that was introduced in the previous Turning Tides patch and has since been renowned as the 250 round magazine beast. This thing is very, very fun to use, but I was always wondering whether it's actually any good. Just because it's got 250 rounds doesn't mean it's necessarily the best support LMG you can take. And especially with the introduction of the IMG, the new LMG in the Apocalypse update, it's really interesting to see whether this thing is still holding its water and still a good weapon to use. Now, let's take a quick look at the difference between the low weight and the telescopic. Of course, you get two variants with the Browning, as this weapon is also known. The low weight has faster recoil decrease, slightly less spread increase per shot when aiming down sight, much faster spread decrease when hip firing, and slightly less spread increase per shot when firing from the hip. This basically means the low weight is far better for closer range hip firing, and the recoil will feel nice at those closer ranges. The telescopic has significantly less spread when aiming down sight and not moving, a much lower first shot spread multiplier when hip firing, and much lower first shot spread multiplier when aiming down sight. Basically, this means that the telescopic is better for aiming down sight and will be better when trying to take down enemies at longer ranges. This is, of course, what you'd expect with a low weight and telescopic variant. So what do I prefer to use, the telescopic or the low weight? Well, I like the low weight, I stick the AA sights on it and then just try to take out enemies at that close to mid range. In all honesty, as I mentioned, it's not really a weapon that I love that much because I really enjoy using that Parabellum. The max damage of the weapon is 26.5, giving you that four shot kill at best. The fire rate is 450 RPM, which will feel fairly slow, and you can definitely notice that when playing. It's almost like you're trying to tap fire faster than the weapon will actually fire, but it's not that slow. 450 isn't that bad when looking at other weapons in the class. The magazine size is 250 rounds, so you will never have to reload this gun. Basically, never have to reload it. And the reload takes 7.5 seconds, which is incredibly long, but as I said, you won't be reloading this weapon really at all maybe once in a life now my favorite weapon in the class before the img was released and i'm going to make a video comparing that to this weapon that is my favorite is the parabellum the parabellum is amazing it's a dlc weapon which of course means it's going to have the edge on a lot of vanilla weapons because that's kind of how dice do things they bring out really exciting weapons with the dlc that almost force you to buy them they're not really pay to win because there are weapons in the vanilla section of the game which are still the best in a lot of situations for example the smle is still the king of the scout class however the Parabellum is one which I really think is slightly better than a lot of others in class. So let's do a comparison to the Parabellum, a weapon that I think dominates the support class in general. The Browning does slightly more minimum damage, has slightly less upward recoil and way less horizontal recoil. If you play with the Browning, you'll notice that it is very easy to hit shots in succession, whilst with the Parabellum, you are looking at far more recoil. It is insane, the Parabellum, unless you are bipodded, and people will notice this, especially on console, where it's no disrespect to console players, it's just the fact you're playing on sticks. Recoil is slightly more difficult to control, and the Parabellum might not be a weapon that you want to use outside of very close range. The Parabellum has a higher max damage, However, nothing that really impacts the way the gun behaves. The biggest difference is that the fire rate is 700 RPM on the Parabellum, whilst the Browning, as I mentioned before, is only 450. This means that the time to kill of both weapons is very different at close range. The Parabellum will do a 259 millisecond kill at best, whilst the Browning will only do a 402 millisecond kill at best. This makes the Parabellum the winner in a 1v1 at close range when hip firing by far. The Parabellum has a 4 bullet kill up to 12 meters and then a 5 bullet kill from then on, which is identical to the Browning. As I mentioned though, the Parabellum kills far faster at that close range. So here's a problem with the Browning that I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but I definitely notice it and I've got some examples in the background. When shooting enemies at that mid range, it's almost like the weapon outlines the enemy and all the bullets miss and the ones that I really want to hit are just going around the enemy and it's very very frustrating I have to hold down left mouse button for a long time before it becomes accurate or I have to tap fire this removes the point of using the weapon entirely so what is it good for 
Maybe it's good for the console crowd. Maybe that low recoil makes it a really, really decent weapon because you'll be hitting more of your shots. And maybe there is a way to avoid this weird spread where all your bullets miss in a spray. I'm not really too sure. And because I don't like testing a lot of weapons and dying a load and trying to work out why I'm dying when I have a weapon like the Parabellum that already does the job fantastically well. And there's loads of other weapons in class like the Huat and the Shoshat and the Lewis gun and this new IMG. I have a lot of different choice and I don't really need to stick with a gun that really only has the advantage of low manageable recoil and a massive magazine. That being said, it can be fun and I have been sent in clips to the top plays in the past where people have dominated with this Browning. Let me know in the comments whether you use it. Let me know if it's just a bit of a gimmick having that 250 round magazine. I know it can be very effective at taking down planes as well, but is that really all it's good for? Let me know in the comments as I mentioned. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next episode.